get caught. Otherwise, that is welcoming Team Spirit into your base. Charge complete, half his health. Yule Scepter is gonna be used. Nicely breaking with that Lincolns, but he didn't use that Bulldoze towards the end there. And these are just free. They have the ways to get Collapse out every time. There's a Lincolns, there's a Swell, there's Four Staffs, Grave. Yatoro's gonna take his chance to Deep poke. first down, oh man! Before you can even complete the sense, he's already gone. They do have an Ice Blast, though. They're pretty well positioned. Duraccio's already cleaned up the Grimstroke. It's not too bad, but Duraccio, he needs to get out of there. It's, oh, my God, that's so much. Five back from it's the Spectre. It's too much damage. Spectre has to win this now. But he has to be has careful to of that something. Dazzle. They have to be able to take away this Aegis at the bare minimum. Surely they have to go for more. They have to risk it. Collapse is going to charge on through to make sure you can't set up on Yutora. Now Yutora will turn back around on you. He's ready for that fight. He pulls back into Duraccio. This could be it for Gaming Gladiators. And let's find a way out of it. Quinn's dead next. Now Duraccio, a dive back for him. He falls. Tofu's pulled back in. He is pulled to his death, down into his grave. Quinn, last man standing for Gaming Gladiators. It will be a one-man stand against what is looking like the best team in the world right now. Absolutely, as they take a commanding team fight victory inside Gaiman's base. No buyback on the Brewmaster there. They just delete the highest net worth hero for Gaiman straight off the bat. No turnaround potential, and you are running out of lives. You are running out of games to play here as Team Spirit. They don't want to just be the best team in the world. They want to prove that they are one of the best teams ever to grace this stage right now. And they are showing why. They're going to go for the Megas, play it safe. And Ag's finished on Mira. He's about to kick this team straight out of the tournament if he has his way. And they're going to go right for the throne. Quick reactions from Quinn. Has to blink away. Just one little opening is all it takes with Mira lurking from behind. Ace back up. We'll see what he can do to stall this out. Gonna need one hell of a primal split here. Yutoro starts pushing forward. Mira doesn't quite get it there, and they actually stop the Spirit Breaker right in front of their base, but they're locked in by the shards. Quinn's able to hop around it, but now the Spirit it holds him in place. He can't do anything against that, but at least the Brewmaster can. Gets and they the kick him in. The throne is exploded, and now he's been pulled Welcome back. Welcome to hell. Oh, no. It is too much for Gaming Gladiators to be able to handle. They are not going to be able to get through this. They have to pray to get out, but the Cathedral is merciless. It is Team Spirit who are unstoppable. They will take it. The best team in the whole goddamn world, without a doubt. Silence every other team. 3-0. Absolutely an incredible performance in the Grand Finals against the best team in the season, an undefeated Grand Final team in Gaming Gladiators, a team that has defeated an entire lower bracket to get here. They take 3-0 in record time. Kick them out of this event, claim a second Aegis for the crew, the first one for Laurel, who has fit in immaculately with this roster. This is a team everybody had on their radar, but they have slowly built it up over the course of the year, are hitting in prime form right now, and it shows this team has multi-generational players, and now they are absolutely cementing themselves as one of the best teams ever to play the game of Dota 2. How do you stop these guys? You can't beat them early. You can't beat them late. Even when you have the full advantage, you have full control of the game, they'll beat you on the comeback too. Team Spirit did it every way possible. Nothing is left for them but the handshakes in the end for Gaming Gladiators who had an admirable run through the lower bracket. I mean, it was the stuff of great stories, but it comes to an end here with Team Spirit just being too damn good. Yotoro boss, this man walks out, he shaves his head, he sends a mental message before the round even starts. This is a long due victory for them over the course of this year, they built up to it. And for two times, the second time in the Dota's history, Team Spirit will claim the ages. Team Spirit win the international.
magic like it's uh, our team spirit <laughs> <laughs> and finally I gotta do it to you ladies and gentlemen may I present to you the undisputed best carry player in the world support oh. let's go thank you so much and congratulations to team spirit well done and there you have it ladies and gentlemen give it up one more time for your team champions team for Gaming Gladiators in that Grand Finals. And this will be a moment that will go down in history. One of the most dominant teams in Dota 2 history. Gaming Gladiators came close, but Team Spirit, the ultimate raid boss selfies need to be taken. That Aegis will be pictured a lot, a lot tonight. I'm joined here by Lacoste, Effie, and Tigov, and we're here to talk to you about everything that we missed. If we missed anything, I don't even think we missed anything. I think Team Spirit Lacoste, they are amazing. Absolutely. This is the team that, uh, you know, they didn't get the chance to experience crowd at TI-10 yeah. when they won it, and really glad that Seattle is cheering really hard for them. This is the team that had a bit of a rough year at the start, and they started to pick it up, you know. Going into the Riyadh Masters, Dream League, they know when to power up. This is the team that enjoys playing on the main stage so much. You can see on their faces all the smiles. That's what Dota is about, having fun and winning some big money. <laughs> oh, yeah. But my God, what a team. I mean, they are magical. I feel like the only other team in the history of Dota that embodied this kind of resilience and passion for the game was OG and their former run, but this team spirit, it's like we haven't seen anything like them. Their players have improved so much in the last year. So much. I can't even speak to the improvement of Mira, of Laurel in particular, and for them to just win this Aegis after a year that looked rocky for them at the start, after not placing well in the three majors this year, for everything to suddenly fall into place for everything to finally click right around the corner for TI. I mean, if that isn't magic, I don't know what is T. Oh, 